Hey, just uh, just in Vietnam. Hey, so we're going on a shoot right now for V Sean Lu. Check it out, Loser Volume 17. All right, my name's Anthony Lee. I'm shooting BTS of the BTS Mofa. We're going to a place called Madame Nan. Apparently, it has a, a wide, 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 wide. Did you get it? No. Uh, you feel like you do a lot of white lining. I feel like you're like a, a very consistent white liar. White liar? Yeah. What does that mean? You know when you like white lied for somebody else's benefit? Mm -hmm. And you're white. <laughs> I feel like you hella lie like that. Really? The like, white lies? I, I mean, agree. Right? I agree. It's like, oh dude, oh yeah. Uh, yeah man, I can't make it. Stop Spider's place drops off 12 cupcakes and like fucking yep. has a very well written card. Oh like, no. Wait, what I was trying to say was that originally I said that we were gonna go to get pho. Okay. But instead, yeah. I found a new place that's even better that does pho, but also other regional Vietnamese cuisines nice. called Madame Lan. So I thought it would be really nice for us to go there instead. Before heading to lunch, the first thing that I want to do today is just kind of shoot something fun. Uh, just as a memory, just because this whole week I've been pretty occupied. Yeah, we're just looking for a place and then we'll see where we land. This boy needs to fuck this song up. <laughs> so, so right now we're trying to figure out um, how to sync up the shots only because Sean is sprinting from across the block. He's not going to be able to hear the music. So we're, thankfully we have we have a lot of team members here. You this is to trying it? to be interesting. You ready to try it? We got like three people on the team. <laughs> we got a squad right now. Let's just shoot this like it's the only one we get. And then, um, yeah. Three! Two, one, action! Alright, one more time. Sean, can you hear me? Sean, can you hear me? Say hello. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hello. Let us use their space as we were shooting. And they're the cutest people ever. I don't know why they want a photo from us. They don't even know who we are, but. For sure, that was the last thing. That was guaranteed. Time to eat. Let's go. I'm in a, a live food coma, like a conscious food coma. I guess, where are we going again, Kai? We're going to the Han market. It's about a mile away. To get some gifts get some and gifts. some stuff. Yeah. Ciao. Excellent music choice. Thank you, come on. Right, that move it? was kind of crazy. Yeah, we're here. Woo. It's quite big. Five hundred three of those. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Wait. What is? What is that? Is that a lizard? Isn't this a bat? No way. 
How much? 100? 50? 100? 100? Okay. 100? Okay. <laughs> Damn! Got my pomelos, my $100,000 hat, and now we're gonna get out of here. So, pit stop! So we are now at a recommended coffee and tea shop uh, by a local called Phuc Long. I'm just gonna grab some coffee for the family and friends because Vietnamese coffee is Vietnamese coffee and it's Vietnamese, so Vietnamese. I'm ready. We're back at the room, and uh, quite the morning. Shot a video, had an amazing lunch, got some gifts, and I got my pomelo, boy. Well, I guess they're saying that it... They're saying that that's not how you say it. Ooh, okay. Pomelo time! First of all, I'd like to thank um, Vietnam for such amazing pomelos, or Asia in general. I also like to thank Vietnam for markets that sell very, very cheap knives for me to peel the pomelo. The first time I peeled the pomelo, it was in the hotel room. <laughs> my thumbs and my nails just weren't it. You need a knife, people, for your pomelos. Why am I in Vietnam? Um, I'm in Vietnam for an event called Summer Jam slash Radical Forces. Um, where they have brought me on to teach. Day one of Summer Jam. Also, I don't no. know where I'm going. Oh, Hello, everybody! Let's go, let's go. student there was as usual they're freaking incredible so driven so passionate so hungry and it inspires me every time and the last day we had a little little beach party and that was very 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 intense it was also really cool because this trip around was also the first time that I did something that I I've never done. I also have something coming up soon to talk about the feeling and experience of battling. So again, I don't want to get too into it, but what happened was... One sec, one sec. Look at that beauty. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel like a mukbanger except I'm not eating. I'm just peeling. Now, what do I think of Vietnam? It's different. It's interesting. In a good way. Let me just start off there. It's good in a great way. Because it's my first time in Vietnam, I had no expectations, um, but there's culture integrated into every single crack of the street. And you've got people yelling at you to get on their motorcycles, not in a creepy way, but just in a very passionate way. Um, but nonetheless, again, usually my day has consisted, while well, being here has consisted of just like trying to 
integrate myself and learn more about the battle culture while I'm out here. Get an occasional, some occasional Vietnamese food and um, uh, my pomelos, you know? Good old pomelos. That is it for Vietnam and for March. Say hey, Chad. Hey. We are um, currently ending the day off and the trip off at um, a place called Esco Beach, which is across the hotel, and we're just enjoying the view. God damn it! It's freaking foggy. <laughs> uh, look at this beautiful view. But yeah, that is my March reality check and the end of Vietnam. Thank you to Summer Jam, Radical Forces, Vibrancy, Friends um, for an intense, a stressful, but one of the most memorable trips and experiences. And also thank you to the students. You guys are all amazing. And uh, yeah, I will see you in April. All right, God, it's getting foggy again. Yeah. Uh.